hey guys it is GCSE results day on Thursday and then we need to start thinking about A levels confirming places confirming subjects if you haven't made your decision already that's fine don't worry I'm going to talk to you about facilitating subjects what they are and why they're so awesome So facilitating subjects are a list of subjects that universities like to see. This list has been put together by the Russell Group, which are a group of like fancy, important universities. And when they're looking through application forms, these are the subjects that they want to see. So your facilitating subjects are chemistry, obviously, chemistry, physics, biology, maths, further maths, English literature, um, history, geography, um, modern languages and classical languages. And they like to see at least two of these subjects. They do not like to see fluffy subjects like um, media studies, sorry, or general studies, mm -mm, because they are seen as kind of like easy subjects and subjects facilitating subjects are seen as hard subjects and they are hard subjects that have a lot of good skills now a lot of you are going to want to go and study things like medicine law architecture economics things that you can't have an a level in very very few places will do a level law which is why when you're looking at a law degree they won't say they need you to have an a level law they'll say facilitating subjects now it may surprise you that a level physics is actually really really good for law because it has lots of good skills in there we're talking like problem solving we're talking looking for patterns lots and lots of things like this again history is a really good one for law we're going to have some bizarre A-level combinations here. But it involves lots of essay writing, lots of arguing, things like that. Things that are good for law. So it's not necessarily the subject content. It's more about the fact that they are hard A-levels and they're teaching you really, really good skills. This is what the universities are looking for. And they're looking for at least two of these on your application form. So if you know um, exactly what you want to do, great go and look at the university websites see what the entry requirements are see if your a levels match up if you don't know what you want to do that's fine pick facilitating subjects at least two and things that you like but do not do general studies i'm sorry but i'm sorry unless you actually want to be a general studies teacher just don't do it because universities don't take it seriously we want things that universities take seriously we want the hard subjects the chemistry the math because they prove how good you are at doing hard things and this is what universities want to see um so lots and lots of things for you to think about picking your a levels good luck on thursday let me know if there's anything that i can do to help you or if you're um, confused about anything, if you want to help with anything um, about remarking, or if you didn't quite get your results, I'm here to help you with everything. Good luck, guys.